My name is Duddit, so I don't build and stuff. Today I want to talk to you about my favourite sword in the game. This sword and this combo on the Titan is absolutely ridiculous. It's massively, massively underrated, but it does so much damage and it's such an excellent sword. I'm talking about the Ill Ermin, and I'm going to be pairing it up with the Icefall Mantle for an instantaneous 25% stasis weapon boost. But I've got all sorts of stuff going on for some absolutely huge damage, so stay with me, I'll break it all down. The Ill Ermin, it's a stasis sword, it was introduced this season, uh, it's a caster frame, launch a heavy projectile attack, uh, strategist is the first perk I put on there, final blows with this weapon, generate improved class ability energy, and then I've also getting surrounded on there, we're going to dive into these perks a little bit more, but we're going to get a massive damage increase once we're surrounded, enhanced version, I put the enhanced versions on both. It's got the Radio Laria Transposer perk on there. Rapid final blows cause targets to explode into a pool of Radio Larian fluid. It's such a great sword with the surrounding and the strategist. But if you put Icefall Mantle into the mix, Stasis final blows have a chance to grant an escalating bonus to Stasis weapon damage. This replaces your barricade ability with a personal overshield. When you activate your barricade, you gain the highest tier stasis weapon damage bonus, which is 25% and it creates a burst of slowing around you that slows nearby targets. So, it gives you 100 HP O-Shield straight off the bat, 62.5% damage resistance, which is huge. It does prevent you sprinting and using your jump abilities, so it slows you down a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me too much because of the amount of damage you can put out. So, you pop your barricade like that, You'll see there, I've got my shielded buff, which is the 100% overshield, 62.5% damage reduction, and a times 4 weapon boost, which is 25% with a stasis weapon. Now, strategist, because we're running Ice Fall Mantle, works perfectly. Weapon kills grant 11% class ability energy. So, you're going to pop your barricade with your stasis uh, Ice Fall Mantle exotics. Get your 25% stasis weapon surge, or weapon boost, sorry, 25%. So you want to be getting your class ability as quick as possible so you can keep refreshing that ice fall mantle buff with your barricade. On top of the strategist, we've got other things like bolster and detonation, grants class ability when you cause damage with a grenade. So the 11%, we've also got a focusing strike as well, causing damage with a melee. So the 11% uh, enhanced strategist plus all these working together really make a difference. Now you'll see there the shielded buff and you'll see there it does actually slow unstop uh, overload champions as well. So you just pop your barricade and instantaneously you're going to get a 25% damage increase, 100 HP overshield and you're going to be able to stop overload champions instantaneously with a slowing effect. This is the hardest difficulty loss sector by the way, I don't have surrounded proc yet so this is where we're going to take a look at surrounded. This weapon gains improved bonus damage when three or more targets are in close proximity. It's 47% on most weapons, but it's 41.75. It always makes me laugh, this swords only receive a 41%, but that's absolutely massive. 41% on a sword is huge. Plus, you've obviously got your Icefall Mantle buff as well, 25%, but these all actually stack with Argent Blade. When you've got an armor charge, dealing damage with a sword will give you a 15% damage increase. This all stacks together, you'll see on that bottom left there, Argent Blade and Stasis Weapon Boost. 25% for your Weapon Boost, 15% for Argent Blade. So it's a 40% damage increase. Now what happens when you've got Surrounded procs on top of that, with another 41% damage increase, it absolutely melts. It really, really makes some serious damage. Look at the state of this champion. He gets absolutely rinsed. That's Surrounded proc, the Stasis Weapon Boost, and the Argent Blade all working together. And the other thing to mention as well, is the amount of damage resistance you get on this is just absolutely crazy. You can, it, if you just watch this explode shank, I slowed it down, I managed to sponge that explode shank. So you can be an absolute tank and put out some massive, massive damage. So I've just got a few clips to show you the amount of damage reduction and the amount of damage you do and the amount of sort of uh, class ability you get back with the strategist, the surrounded all working together. You can really, really tell when you've got this Icefall Mantle proct. 62.5% damage reduction, 100% overshield which is 100 HP over shield, sorry, which is absolutely huge. You've always pretty much got that surrounded proc, and you can do that with confidence as well because of the amount of damage reduction you're getting. Proc that damage reduction. You can always pick up orbs for your Argent Blade. 
And like I said, it is an absolute champion destroyer in the hardest difficulty lost sectors. Even in GMs, I've tried it in GMs previously in other builds that I've done. I used the slammer uh, in another build that I did. This week's GM isn't really suitable for swords, but I've used this in many GMs before and it absolutely destroys in that as well. Now, bearing in mind this season, we don't have no stasis burn whatsoever. So it's really, really strong. Balandos Wrath Reavers on the Warlock do something very simpler. Your Winter's Wrath Shockwave deals increased shatter damage. Allies in range, you give them a 25% damage increase. And also, if you use Frost Pulse, whenever you put your Rift down, you're going to get 17% damage increase and times 8 Frost Armor stacks. I'm not going to go too much into this one, but you could do something similar by putting your Frost Pulse down, your Rift, and you're going to get times 8 Frost Armor and times two stasis weapon boost 17 percent and again everything applies you can stack all your argent blood and you're surrounded but i'll leave a link to that video but i just wanted to share this sword it's absolutely immense and it's severely underrated and so is icefall mantle at the moment it's just free damage free damage resistance i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching have a great day